here we are welcome back to the channel and we're looking at the latest time trial to get you two million credits so before we start we're not going to go straight into support mode we're going to go over to legend cars we're actually going to buy this car to do the time trial we look at the Toyota GT1 an old classic car in our games we're going to purchase cars two and a half million credits um, we can afford it so why not and we're going to try and put a livery on this car as well but you can make this car if you don't have the two and a half million we'll show you that in a while so go straight over we're going to go down to showcase we're going to add delivery onto the car we'll show you quickly how to do that so go down to content search click on to current car go on to popular tags we're going to look at Toyota we can have a little brief look at all the different liveries that we can select from we're going to click on to the John play special one it's absolutely stunning we're going to click on collection on the left hand side there then we're going to exit menu close that and we're going to show you how to apply the livery so go across to gt auto go across to car customization all the way across to the right hand side to load the style get down to collection click on that and to show you the cars that you've pressed on so we click on the john play special apply the style there might be a little fee 15,000 credits but nothing significant so we press ok and all you want to do now is just exit and that will apply the style and we're ready to go so now we're ready to go we're going to go to sport mode in the top right hand corner and this takes you on to daily races and your online time trials which we're going to concentrate we've already done the daytona trioval the vision gt car bit of a strange one but if you haven't checked that one out check that one out on the channel but now we're going to concentrate on the toyota gt1 uh, at Fuji International Speedway, what a combination, a beautiful car. But on racing medium tyres, uh, we can select from the graves as we've bought the car, but you can rent as well if you want. So we enter, we press OK, and we're good to go. And as you can see, this car is absolutely stunning in the replay mode. It actually reminds me of my supercars, I used to run these colours, black and gold. So yeah, a bit of nostalgia there. So we're going to do our best to get these. 2 million crits. We come to the first braking point, we're going to slow it down for you. On the 150 board left hand side, hit the brakes hard in a straight line. Come down to first gear, we want as much rotation as we can. Click the apex, come into second, but look at that throttle, be very careful not to plant it straight away. Uh, you've got to be careful as soon as this turbo kicks in, because the back end is very happy on this car. So come to the 100 board on the right hand side, we brake just after that. We want to get as close to this left cone as possible, but don't hit that cone. We'll get four wheels across there, so your lap will be invalidated. So on this long sweeping bend, you can see, look at the throttle control. We dab the brake slightly, because we're going slightly wide there. You don't want to go too wide in this corner. But look at the throttle. We're playing with the throttle to get the balance of the car, because we want this car to be going to swing over as far right as we can. So in between the 50 and the 100 board, we're applying the brakes. We come down to first gear to get a rotation. Miss the apex slightly, which compromises our their exit out of that corner, so not the best exit. So not a bad first sector so far. We come to the next braking zone, and we're looking for the shadow under the bridge as we slow it down. As we hit that shadow, we come down to first gear. We want to take as much curb as possible. You can see coming down to first, come off the brakes, taking a lot of curb down to first gear. We rev it out in first, no brakes, come to second, and try and keep this throttle balanced. Plant it as early as you can. As the grass ends on the left hand side, we're applying the brake just over 50%. Again, we put down to first there just to give us a bit more rotation. Be careful on that throttle again. For the left hander, just before the curve ends on the left hand side, we're applying about 50% on the brake. The car will go slightly wide there. You want to bring it straight back into second gear. Be quite patient here. It's a really patient sector, this last sector. Quite clunky and quite difficult to get right. The Marshall's post on the left hand side, we brake just before there. Again, we're looking about 50% on the brakes. Uh, again, we're not really hooking up the apex, which puts us slightly wide. We get a bit of a slide on just coming out there, just there. So, again, not the best exit, but that is a tricky sector to get right. That might take you a few goes, and this might be quite difficult to, to get your gold. But we come across the line for a 31.932, so a fairly solid lap, and that's good enough for gold as you can see the world record a minute is a 30.7 so 3% of that you're looking at 33.4 if that's too difficult a 35.3 will get you 1 million credits but let me know if this does help 
like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, always nice to read uh, comments or what people say, if it does help. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the chase cam now and we're going to see um, just how much track you can take. Always gives you a nice little perspective. Um, with this car as well, counter steer assist or traction control on one or two might help you. It's quite difficult to, to drive uh, when this turbo kicks in, in the lower gears. So first, second gear, um, you've got to be quite careful not to just plant the tires. You can see coming out this corner here, we're not going full on. You know, you've got to, it's almost like three quarters just off full throttle. And then when turbo kicks in, then you can plant it. But traction control on one or two might help you with this one. Now this is a really difficult sector. That first sector, they're not too bad. It can be fairly consistent and this is where it gets quite tricky coming out of these slow kind of these slow sweeping bends and in the quite frustrating corners to get right especially this left hander here as well you can brake too much and end under steering way wide but these last two corners uh, are quite um, quite a challenge in itself but a good combination all in all and like I said um, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if it does help let me know and we'll do another one of these next time as usual, we'll leave you with the replay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ladies. Thank you.